if hell is the waiting place for the lake of fire, is paradise the waiting place for heaven? Okay, well, there's lots of teachings on this. And what we're really doing is playing a game of semantics. So the question is, is Hades and hell the same thing, or is hell and the lake of fire the same thing? And is paradise the same thing as Abraham's bosom, or is it the same thing as what we call heaven? So here's what we understand. There's a place called Sheol. It's got two sections, and one is referred to as Hades, and the other is referred to as Abraham's bosom. Abraham's bosom is empty. They're all present with the Lord now. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And the word paradise comes from one passage where Jesus says, Today you will be with me in paradise. Was he saying that he would go to Abraham's bosom, or is he saying he'd be in the presence of the Lord? That is honestly the debated issue. But what we do understand right now is that the only people in Hades, Sheol, that are in there are awaiting judgment. Because in Revelation 19, it, Hades is emptied out and they're all judged. And then Hades itself is thrown into the lake of fire. Keep in mind, the word hell was not invented by God. It was actually acquired by the Jews to describe Sheol. They were using the Greek language, so they used the Greek word for underworld. So it's really a debatable matter whether hell refers to the lake of fire or to Sheol. Either way, yeah, there's a waiting place for both, but Abraham's bosom one, that's empty. 